Recently, I read, and I hope this isn't too personal, that you had a you had a hip replaced. I did. That was a bad day. That must be a pretty bad day. <laughs> yeah, that was about a, that was almost exactly a year ago. Um, I had a hip replacement, a full hip replacement, and uh, and I held off as long as I could until the doctor said hold off until you start to limp, and then have a hip replacement. So I went in. Uh, my wife brought me in, and I, Yolanda, shaved my my. Pubic hair. I'll just say it. Yeah. And, uh, which I didn't know. I didn't know Yolanda was going to be doing that. <laughs> and she just decided, again, like the baboon, no one tells me anything. <laughs> um, so the pubic hair is shaved. And then the doctor came in and said, so let's talk about your hip. What do you want it made out of? And I thought, this has been months leading up to this. And, and I'm about 20 minutes from having this permanent piece of body installed and well you could go it's like i'm picking out a car yeah. you could go with the titanium or you could go now i'd recommend the ceramic because it's very very durable you might be able it might last forever however it might squeak that's the one, <laughs> the one downside like okay do you want, do you want it to last but do I want the squeaky hip? <laughs> so, so, so I went with the ceramic squeak hip. Yeah. And I said, give me the, give me the squeaky one. So they, they doped me up. And the guy, the guy doing the anesthesia said, now, do you want to see any of the operating room? Do you want have to have any awareness from here on out? And I said, not at all. Yeah. I, want, I want to be asleep for the next several weeks. Yeah. I don't want to any recollection of this. So he, he gave me my medication, but it didn't quite kick in as quickly as it should have. They rolled me into the operating room and w it looked like a torture chamber. It was, <laughs> there, was a, there was a bed, there was the operating table looked like a, a, a spit, a rotisserie <laughs> that you would roast a chicken on. It, and what they do is they put you on this, they strap you down, and they turn you around so they can get better uh, access. In wherever they in need to wherever, go. In wherever, you know, to chop out the hip. And so I was freaking out, and I saw axe saws. And, <laughs> and, and the last image that I had in my head was a woman putting on a helmet. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. She was, it was a helmet with a huge, like a visor and a light.